In this demonstration, we're going to deploy the HPE OneView 3.0 appliance to a Hyper-V host. So I've already downloaded the OneView appliance, and we're connected into our Hyper-V host through Hyper-V Manager here. So the appliance comes as a pre-built virtual machine, so all we have to do is import that virtual machine. So from the Hyper-V Manager, we'll right-click on our host, select Import Virtual Machine, and then I've already copied the folder where this appliance is located. So this is the folder directory where the virtual machine is. We'll click Next. Hyper-V has went out and found that virtual machine, so we see that this is the OneView DCS appliance. We'll click Next. And then for the import type, we're just going to register the virtual machine in place using the existing IDs from when that virtual machine was exported. So we'll click Next to go to the summary screen and then click Finish. So now Hyper-V has imported that host to look at the virtual machines on this host. We'll click on the host look at the VMs and here we have our OneView DCS we'll right click and select start we can right click again select connect and we'll receive a, a virtual machine connection similar to the VMware console where we can peer in to the virtual machine as it's starting so now after this deploys and starts up which could take about 30 minutes depending on the appliance. We'll be able to go in, accept the license agreement, and then assign an IP address. So now that our OneView appliance is deployed, the next thing to do is to configure the appliance so that we can access it through a web browser. So now you see we still have the virtual machine connection set up, and our appliance has started. So within the appliance, we'll click in to get the mouse control, and we'll click hardware setup. So we'll go ahead and click Edit Networking. We see that our DHCP server has already assigned us an IP address. We'll change this to a static address. We'll use 230. And then our maintenance IP address, we don't need this. We're going to delete that so that we can save the configuration. And then the appliance host name, we normally use a, a fully qualified domain name. So we can use something like HP or oneview.management.hp.local. And then we can click OK to save this configuration. So once that configuration has been saved, you can then open a web browser and navigate to the IP address, or if you have DNS set up, the fully qualified domain name of the appliance that you just saved. So in Internet Explorer, we've navigated to the IP address, 1.230, and you see now that we're prompted with the license agreement. So we'll go ahead and click Agree. Then we're taken to the support page where we can enable authorized services access. This is enabled by default. We'll leave that setting as is, then click OK. And then we're brought to the logon screen for OneView. And here we can log on for the first time as administrator with the password of admin. And we'll be prompted to change that password. So I'm just going to use the standard HP password, HP1 Mint. So we're brought to the edit networking page where we have to specify now the, the maintenance IP addresses. We could have done this earlier, but we'll go ahead and do it once we log in. So the first one we'll specify, we'll just use sequ sequential numbers. So we'll do 231 for the first IP address and 232 for the second IP address. And then click OK to save those changes. It'll apply these changes and then let you log into the appliance.